Hey class, uh, welcome to another tutorial of CS384. This is a very general tutorial, so nothing relating to CS384. So in my experience and in normal usage also, you see the usage of keyboard shortcuts helps us to write, helps us to perform our tasks very fast. I think the favorite shortcuts for everybody of you would be Ctrl C and Ctrl V. The best of us, we just copy paste. Now just imagine if you do a right click, then copy, then paste. Using right click, it will take a lot of time. So keyboard shortcuts are a bit difficult in the start to remember, but once you start using it, they are quite, quite easy for us. So some shortcuts that are specific to VS Code we will discuss in this particular class and which are useful for programming. So now for example, my cursor is on line number 7, right? And it is on the position of saving. So for example, if I want to move my cursor to the start of the line, I have two options. Either I use the arrow key, take left, 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 left and come here. Or if I want to go to the end, I have to use the right arrow key, right? So to save this, because you may have a bigger line, for example, if I'm here on this, this is Python programming course. So there is a home key on your keyboard. There is a home and the end key. So end key is easy to remember. End when I press, it takes you to the end of the line. And when I press home, I go to the start of the line. So just by using a direct home and an end key, so any line, wherever you are, you are at the end, you want to go at the start, you can press home, you are in the between, you wish to go to the end, you can press end key. Right? So many times it is required that, you know, you duplicate lines. So for example, I am writing a program to compute the, what will be the saving interest, the amount of interest obtained for various schemes, right? So I have written that interest of saving is 4%. Now I just want to duplicate this line. Right. Or else, for example, I want to write interest, yeah, I-N-T-E-R-E-S-T underscore, let's say F-D. Let's say keep it 7%. So if I want to duplicate this line in VS Code, so we will use Shift, Alt and Down arrow key. You can even use Up arrow key, both are same only. Shift, so keep pressing Shift, then additionally keep pressing Alt and then press Down arrow key. So you need not press like, you know, like a chord on a cashew. So keep on pressing shift, then in step 2, while the step shift is pressed, press alt, then while the alt and shift both are pressed, press down arrow key, right, or up arrow key. So this is how you duplicate a line. Okay, now for example, if I want to select this particular line, so one method is I can make use of mouse, but if you don't want to use the mouse, for example, you are on the end of the line, right, I'm using end key. So press shift, keep shift pressing, and then press home. So you see the entire line is selected now. Similarly, if you are at the start of the line, press shift, keep it pressing and press end. So you select the whole line from that particular position. You can also use this. For example, if you are in the middle of a word, pressing shift home will select from that cursor till the home. Right? You can even use arrow keys with it. Shift and I am see I am pressing right arrow key. So I am getting selected text. If I am using left arrow key, then I will get the left handed selected text. If you want to select word by word, then press shift in parallel, press control and then move your cursor to the right or the left. You see, every word is getting selected, word by word selection. Right. So these actually helps a lot of time, a lot of saving time while coding and all. And then there is, for example, you are in the start of the document and you want to select the complete document. Right. So of course, control A, everybody knows. But let's say you are in the middle of a document, line number 6, and you want to select the remainder of the document from this position. One thing is you take your mouse and just keep on dragging to the bottom of the document. For long document, it is cumbersome. So press control, press shift, so control shift, and then use the end key. You see, whole of the text gets selected. My mouse here is for here. I am pressing control. In parallel, I am pressing the shift key, and then I am pressing the end key. So you see from that position till the end, the text is selected. If I want to go till the home, I press control shift home. I get the, from that position to the start, I get my selection done. Then many a times we require toggling of comments, right? So in VS code, it is control and forward slash. So I press control. I press it. I press the control key and in conjunction with the control, I press the forward slash. So see, I see the comment here and I again press the forward slash. So it's a toggle comment. It does not put a double comment. 
So usually it is used for example you have at a bigger code and you see it okay these three lines basically are showing error i press shift press the down arrow key i get three lines selected and then i press control forward slash all the three lines get commented i press control slash the three lines are uncommented it's a toggle basically okay again an interesting thing is auto complete so all this visual editors and all these ide basically make use of intellisense intellisense is intelligently it will define what is the keyword that you are trying to type so for example i have interest savings and interest rd now i want interest for fd also so when i type interest you can see there are two repeating things here right so what is the closest one for fd right i can see i can just type interest rd do a backspace and then type fd this is one of the method right or i can type int interest and then i am typing d INTD. So you can see the matches here, INT and the D is highlighted in the end. So this gives me even a quicker access. I can make it FD is equal to let's say 9%. So whenever you are trying to autocomplete, don't think that it is always at the start and everything, every character should match. <clears throat> right. So for example, if I want to use interest saving, so I can just write interest ING. So see saving is coming as a first option. ST again saving is coming as a first option right so these are very handy intelligent shortcuts that you can use to you know speed up your program writing and in in Microsoft VS code when you press control shift and P right so you get this command palette right command palette gives you a various various kind of stuff so for example you can stop your code for example if you write your code which is an infinite loop you can stop the code here and you can search also for example you want to clear output right so you can just click here and your output will be clear on the screen right so this was just a basic tutorial so i thought key just to tell you because many of you still love to use mouse and everything because you feel it's handy even since we have installed the code runner installation we can have control alt 10 okay those who are using windows 10 so windows 10 has an amazing shortcut that i came to know yesterday only so you can use window and semicolon. Okay, it somehow did not appear here, but that is an emoji kind of shortcut, right? So if you're using WhatsApp web or other chatting tools, just press windows and semicolon and you will get a lot of emojis from windows. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial.